Hello everyone! So today we're going to talk about equivalent noise temperature. Equivalent noise temperature. Because the noise produced from thermal agitation is directly proportional to temperature, thermal noise can be expressed in degrees as well as watts or dBm. So here we can see the formula T is equal to N over Kb where T is the environmental temperature, which is in Kelvin, N for noise power, which is in watts, K for Boltzmann constant, which is 1.38 times 10 raised to negative 23 joule per Kelvin, and B for bandwidth, which has the unit of hertz. Um, equivalent noise temperature, or TE, is a convenient parameter used rather than noise figure in VHF, VHF, microwave, and satellite radio receivers. The, lo the lower the equivalent noise temperature is, the better the quality of the receiver. Mathematically, the equivalent noise temperature is equal to the equivalent temperature quantity F or the noise factor, which is unitless, minus one. So again, Te is equal to T sub zero quantity F minus one. And again, sabi din dito, the lower the equivalent noise temperature or the lower the Te, the better the quality. Because uh, the Te is the equivalent noise temperature. Conversely, Noise factor can be represented as a function of equivalent noise temperature with the following formula. So, from this formula, we can derive it and we can say that F or noise factor is equal to 1 plus Pe over T. So, for example, problem number 1, we have determined the noise figure. For an equivalent noise temperature of 88 Kelvin, use 90, 290 Kelvin for reference temperature. So, let's answer this. Again, the, the formula, if we're gonna find the noise factor, is 1 plus Pe over P. Pero, again, ang hinahanap natin ay noise figure. Pero para makuha muna natin yun, gamitin muna natin yung formula for noise factor. So, let's substitute the given. Makuha natin F is equal to 1 plus 88 over 290. Again, yung 88 ay yung equivalent noise temperature natin. And yung um, temperature naman, which is the ambient temperature, is 290 Kelvin. Ang makuha natin nun ay 1.303 Pero ang nanap natin ay noise figure, so yun yung naka-decibel. And F is equal to 10 log F. Um, 10 log F, I mean 10 log 1.303, makuha natin na ang noise figure ay 1.15 decibel. Now for example, problem number 2. Equivalent noise temperature for a noise figure of 12 decibel. So ang given naman ay yung... Um, uh, yung 12 decibel. So, ang solution, ang sabi, noise factor is found by rearranging the formula of noise figure. So, ang given kasi ay yung noise figure natin na 12 decibel. So, ang hahanapin natin ay yung equivalent noise temperature. Um, since ang given ay 12 decibel, which is NF, pwede nating balik ta rin i antilog natin. ba? Since NF is equal to 10 log F, para makuha yung F, ang gagawin natin formula ay antilog NF over 10. So, antilog 12 over 10, makuha natin ay 10 raised to 1.2 which is equal to 15.85. So, dahil meron na tayong F, magagamit na natin yung formula for equivalent noise temperature, which is Te is equal to T quantity F minus 1. 
So again, ang temperature na ginagamit natin dito ay 290 Kelvin. So, 290 times 15.85 minus 1. And then, the answer will be 4,306.5 Kelvin. So, that will be our equivalent noise temperature. Now, for these three problems, try to solve it on your own. For problem number one, we have the, sim the signal to noise ratio is 65 decibels at the input to an amplifier and 12.09 decibels at the output. What is the noise temperature of the amplifier? For the second question, we have calculate the equivalent noise temperature of a receiver with a noise figure of 1.2 decibels. And for the third uh, problem, we have a certain company manufacturer manufactures an AM receiver with a noise temperature of 194 Kelvin. Calculate the noise figure of the receiver. That's all for our lesson regarding the equivalent noise temperature. Thank you!